Hi, I'm Paul Pasolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at Test 1, Section 1, Number 11, which reads, The authors most likely use the examples in line 1 to 9 of the passage, Every Day Showers, to highlight the what? And so we go back to the passage. And what we see in the beginning is the blurb. Always a good idea to read the blurb. We've got, this passage is adapted from Francis J. Flynn and Gabriella Adams. Money Can't Buy Love, Asymmetric Beliefs About Gift Price and Feelings of Appreciation. The title itself, Money Can't Buy Love, suggests that just because you spend a lot of money on someone does not mean they're going to love you. And then asymmetric, it like doesn't match. What doesn't match? Gift Price and Feelings of Appreciation. In other words, a greater price gift is not appreciated more than a less, than a less price gift. And we read lines 1 to 9. Every day it starts with millions of shoppers hit the stores in full force, both online and on foot, searching frantically for the perfect gift. Last year, Americans spent over $30 billion at retail stores in the month of December alone. Aside from purchasing holiday gifts, most people regularly buy presents for other occasions throughout the year, including weddings, birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, and baby showers. So, we see a number of things in line one to nine. We're gonna go down to the answer choices. There certainly is for this question, one answer choice that is a very common wrong answer choice. We're gonna start bottom up. And the last one, answer choice D, number of special occasions involving gift giving. That is the most common wrong answer. It actually is wrong. What's a little deceiving about it is you see that it does mention December and the holiday season and then goes on to say weddings, birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, baby showers. But notice how it starts. Number one, it starts with every day, millions of shoppers and they're in full force every day. So remember topic sentence, main idea, first sentence of each paragraph could be very important. Also you wanna think, how does this paragraph fit in the larger scope of the rest of the passage? The rest of the passage is not talking about holiday or gift giving for particular occasions per se. It's just talking about gift buying in general. So answer choice D, number of special occasions involving gift giving is actually wrong. Answer choice C, anxiety gift shopping causes for customers. One thing you want to make sure you do not do is project your feelings onto the SAT. So if you have anxiety when you're shopping, you're much more likely to choose answer choice C. But it does not say anything about anxiety in that lines one to nine. So do not choose that. Make sure you read everything there, no more and no less. Answer choice B, recent increase in amount of money spent on gifts. So there is an amount of money spent on gifts that is mentioned, but it, there is no indication that, is, that this is an amount that's more than before or that before it was less than it is now. So we cannot say a recent increase that's gonna make B wrong. So the correct answer is a regularity with which people shop for gifts. Again, it starts with every day and it does mention a number of holidays, but. Those are all times that they're mentioned because those are times when people are buying gifts. And in the context of the rest of the passage, it is about gift giving and not particularly about those special occasions when you're buying those gifts. Thank you for watching today. If you like this video, click like, share it with someone who has trouble with reading comprehension. In the comments, if there's any question you have about any SAT or ACT or PSAT question, you could leave it there and be happy to answer it. And click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day.